this vlog. I am so excited to take you guys along our first trip with Chloe. If you guys are new here, my name is Katie and I'm a first time mom to our daughter Chloe, who's almost three months already. It's really sad going by so fast, but we are leaving for a few days to go to the Outer Banks. This is our first time taking Chloe on a vacation. Super excited. It's just a quick little road trip. We actually live like probably about two hours from where we're going. We have basically everything packed. I'm just running a couple errands before we head out. It is crazy how much you need to bring with you when you have a baby, even for just a couple of days. And I really tried my best to pack as light as I could. our hotel we're staying at the hampton inn in corolla it's definitely a little bit dated like there's some stuff that could be replaced but overall it looks pretty clean so far and we ended up getting a suite so we have this nice little kitchen area which is really good to clean like all the pump parts and all of her milk bottles a little couch over here just the bathroom area down there and we actually have a really nice balcony out here a lazy river and then we have a pool and right out to the ocean, which is super convenient. I am fully in my nursing bra, but look at this girl smiling. I am about to put Chloe to bed here. It's about eight o'clock, which is a little bit later than what we normally put her to bed. I need to get going on that so we can stay kind of on a little bit of a routine, but she is such a happy little baby today. She just kind of like goes with the flow. We went out to eat. We went to this place called Mama Easley's in Corolla and it was really good like seafood stuff. Are you smiling? She's literally the sweetest. So we went there. I got fish and chips and Andrew got clam strips. And they had a bunch of like different little surf shops and boutiques in the area. So we just went around and looked at those for a little bit. And then we got some ice cream at this place called The Chill Spot, which was so good. We got ice cream nachos. It was delicious. Highly recommend. And now we're just hanging out at the hotel. I'm getting her fed, putting her to bed. And we have the screen door cracked a little bit to our hotel room and you can hear the ocean a little bit and it's just like really nice and relaxing right now. So we are so far having the best time. We're about to head out to the beach and I'm wearing a swimsuit from Aerie and I seriously thought I would never wear a bikini postpartum because of just like the whole mom pooch and everything, but this makes me feel so comfortable in it and it's so flattering because of this like kind of V waistline here and it hits nice and high on the stomach and then I also just really love this top super easy also for nursing on the beach I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera but the fabric on this bikini is also really pretty and when it hits the sunlight it's like a little bit shiny too so there's also really good coverage on the back of the bottoms and then I'm just gonna wear this cover up from Amazon. And it's so cute, like this white cover up dress. And then you can adjust the ties at the bottom and it has a really cute low back. So I think we're gonna head out and grab some coffee first and then we're gonna go to the beach. Almost forgot to share Chloe's bathing suit. She has these little peaches and then the back has the cutest little bow. I actually have a matching bikini to this same print and I should have worn it because it's so cute. I love how Old Navy does the family matching stuff, but that's what Chloe's wearing today. <laughs> You're so cute. This pack and play is a huge lifesaver to us right now because it has this cute little toy bar. And then we just added this whale on here. It was really inexpensive. It's a Graco brand. We got it from Amazon. It was only like 80 bucks. I think it was one of the least expensive pack and plays, but obviously it has an infant insert so that she can lay higher. And then once she gets bigger, obviously she moves down to the bottom. I got these super soft pack and play sheets off of Amazon and she loves it. been 
a couple of days. We actually got back from the Outer Banks a few days ago, but we had some family come into town and then we had some friends come over for the 4th of July, which was really fun, but it's been a minute since I updated you guys on this vlog. And I'm honestly kind of disappointed because I did not vlog as much as I was planning on or hope to when we were in the Outer Banks because just taking care of Chloe on vacation and trying to soak up all of the time together and like be in the present moment was really difficult. Traveling with the baby is a little bit more challenging, but it's so worth it because having her with us is so much fun. I do want to include in this vlog kind of like resetting my life, getting things back together because we've had so much company over and things have just been really crazy around here. Andrew's work has been really crazy. I'm actually solo parenting for the day and he is gone until tomorrow. We're going to head to Trader Joe's today. I have not been there in so long, so I'm excited to stock up on a few favorites, get some good groceries. I did like a full meal plan of breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the whole week. My eating has been all over the place from being on vacation and just like spending time with family and stuff. So I'm really excited to like plan some actual meals, especially lunches. If I don't plan out my lunches, I just like don't end up eating that well. So I need to stay up on top of that because I feel like it really also helps my milk supply too. I also just wanna like get things back together. Everything feels out of place. I have some laundry that I have to do and just some picking up and things like that. And we're back from Trader Joe's. I don't even know if I got like that many clips in the store because it was just chaos as usual. I was more more concerned that Chloe was gonna start crying in the middle of the grocery shop. So I just started throwing everything in the cart, but we made it back. Um, Chloe actually did a really good job in the store. She didn't really end up crying or anything, which is good, but I still kind of get a little bit stressed out, especially when I don't have Andrew. So I don't know that Trader Joe's runs will be happening very often. So I was trying to grab a bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to try or have just been missing out on because I have so many Trader Joe's favorites. Starting with the produce over here, I grabbed lots of fruit. I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm actually going to prep all of this stuff so that I can just grab it really quick because it's really hard with Chloe to eat healthy if nothing is prepared. So I got blueberries, strawberries, blackberries. I grabbed some of the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage, grape tomatoes. These little tiny potatoes are so yummy. And then avocados, a red onion, cantaloupe. I hope this one's good because I just like picked one and threw it in the cart because I was stressed, like I said. A pineapple, really gorgeous white tulips. And then I want to make the viral TikTok pizza recipe this week. I might honestly do it tonight since this comes in a pack of two. This recipe calls for this garlic spread, prosciutto, pineapple, some of this hot pepper sauce. And then I've been hearing a lot about this red pesto sauce. People have been putting it on sandwiches too. So that will be really good to try with like sourdough bread. The burrata is also for the pizza as well as these fresh mozzarella balls. This in particular is really good because it comes in a marinated oil and it's really good for dipping. This is new and I'm so excited to try it because I love the chili onion crunch, this chili onion hummus. And then I got some pita crackers to go with it. I love these um, protein bars. I only got a couple because they're kind of pricey, but they're so good. Then some coconut aminos, soyaki. This is really good on salmon or chicken. I picked up some of this jalapeno limeade. This is really good for some spicy margaritas. A few new items that I'm excited to try. I might try here in a bit. These peanut butter crispy rice bites. I've heard really good things. I also picked up these everything bagel sandwich crackers. They sound really good. This is so nostalgic to me because it reminds me of the breadsticks with the cheese, but it's chocolate with peanut butter which sounds so good. Little Miss Chloe is asking for my attention, so I'm flying through this haul. I grabbed some peach mango hand soap for the kitchen. Hash browns, as always. These are a Trader Joe's favorite, as well as the sweet potato gnocchi and some orzo. I've not had any lunch yet, so we're gonna try out some of these new Trader Joe's finds, starting with these everything bagel sandwich crackers. So these are filled with cream cheese. They sound really good. Just like the little Ritz crackers with the peanut butter. I can definitely taste a lot of the onion flavor in them. I kinda like them. These are a really good snack. Because I'm so excited to try this hummus, we're gonna try this one next. Normally I hate opening up so many things at the same time, but Look at, that's what it looks like. I almost bought two of these because I felt like I was really gonna like it and I probably should have because I'm probably not gonna be back 
at Trader Joe's for a while. That was another thing that I bought, but it's sitting on the counter over there. The chili onion crunch because we ran out and it's my favorite on my eggs in the morning with some avocado. It's so good. So we're gonna get out our pita crackers. Here we go. I feel like this tastes a little bit more spicy than the regular chili onion crunch actually. I feel like Andrew is gonna love this stuff because it's actually really spicy. One more thing that I'm gonna try because I'm super excited to taste test these and then I'll end up trying these probably a little bit later. Come in the same little container. They actually also have some that are like PB and J. Here's the little wafer cookies with our peanut butter. Oh, that is good. That is really good. If you love chocolate and peanut butter, Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love About the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. mostly for when Chloe starts eating, which won't be for a while, but I got them now because I wanted to I wanted to put some frozen breast milk in it. I might not start this until she's probably around four months, but I got them for when she starts teething, which I think she's kind of showing a few signs that she is either sort of starting now or going to start soon. And these are really good for like putting raspberries or just foods that you can kind of like mush up and then freeze or they can just like suck on the raspberries through this mesh silicone thing. But this is the Dr. Brown's brand. Comes with two for about 10 bucks. All right, we are all ready for bed. My PJs are actually from Walmart. I was so shocked by how soft they are and they're so cute. So it came as a set for like $14, I believe. And then little Miss Chloe's PJs are from Old Navy. We need to get her some more PJs for her bigger size because she is pushing out of these. Chloe is down for the night and I am so excited to have some time to myself. I'm honestly probably gonna edit this vlog but I'm watching The Bachelorette made the viral Trader Joe's pizza from TikTok and it was pretty good. I feel like having all the sauces and spreads on there was a little bit much. Like it was very flavorful. I might do a little bit less if I make it again and add like a little bit more pepperoni and cheese to it possibly, but Overall, it was so good. I, I am gonna end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all in my next vlog. But I'm trying to share.